Hello guys, this is Chirwati once again and you are watching Core Java tutorial series. In this tutorial we are gonna learn about forward reference rule in Java. So let's start. Now here you can see that uh, this is a public class E, it is a class A and I have defined one static integer that is i and it's getting initialized by j. So what's happening actually? Why I'm just uh, giving this kind of statement? Actually I'm trying to assign a value to i and which is not declared yet. So assigning value before initialization and j is getting initialized in the second line but I'm giving the value to i of j that is not declared yet in the first line. So it will uh, disorder continue uh, and for this compile time error will occur as because you can see that unresolved compilation problem as because assigning variable before initialization is not happening. So you can just can't give it like this way and it will show compile time error. Now moving to the next class you can see that I have defined one static integer i that equals to 10 and I have defined one method test and the written type is integer and I am returning the value of i. So here you can see that uh, I have defined i equals to 10 here in the first line itself and I am calling this i method this i variable sorry i variable from the test method. So this can be possible no matter no matter uh, whatever whenever you are uh, returning the value from whenever uh, from the class and uh, it can be very possible so it will compile very successfully and as you can see the output is getting the system so I'm calling the test method from the system dot uh, function from the main method and it's calling the test method and it's returning the value i so this is one of the forward reference uh, I have used so this is possible and the compilation will be very successful now moving to the next class as you can see that the output is getting 3 and 3 why because that uh, I have defined one static variable as you have uh, seen that in the previous tutorial static variable or global variable can be defined anywhere in the class no matter uh, whenever you are declaring wherever you are declaring you can define it anywhere and it will be loaded into the memory while compiling the program. So, here also the compilation is very success and running is also very success and uh, I have defined the value of i equals to 3 and I am calling system dot out the i that will be 3 and test method and it will return i plus plus as it is post increment so it will not affect the value of i and it will return 3 and 3 will be printed. Now moving to the next class that is public class D. I have defined uh, static int i equals to test and test is returning 10 this is a very important part friends this is possible actually if this is the main uh, uses of forward reference this is absolutely possible you can just define test method value the written value into the i and i is getting initialized by 10 and it will print 10 only so as you can see this is printing 10 so this is one of the primary example of forward reference. Now moving to the next class as you can see that I have defined one class here class E and static int test is returning the value 100 and static int i equals to test. So this is very similar to the previous program uh, instead of defining in the first line I have defined after the test method so it is also possible it is also calling the forward reference rule and I'm calling test method from the here so uh, so returning value will be 100 100 is repeated and I'm calling i and i will be getting initialized by the written value of uh, test method so it will also be 100 so both will be 100 will be printed now moving to the next class yeah, as you can see the output is getting 0 and 0 so this is a pre uh, pretty complex uh, not not much but it's a complex as you can see that uh, the I have defined one test method here and the written type is i and I have defined one i and this is test method so why it is getting 0 and 0 
as because you can see that the global variable all uh, are initialized by their default value so as it is a static int i so it will get the initial value as 0 and it will be re returning the value 0 only and test method when it is calling i and it is declared in the after the test method so the it will be loaded firstly first into the memory so i is getting the value as 0 so written it will be 0 only and here also static int will be 0 so the test method will print 0 and the i will be 0 that's why you are getting 0 and 0 it is the indirect way of achieving forward reference that is a technique to indirect way of achieving forward reference compiler is ignoring forward reference here i can be used anywhere in the method here so that's why it's getting 0 and 0 okay next program so here in the class g i have defined one variable i and it's getting initialized by the test method i is getting the value as 0 as because i is uh, static int and it's getting the value as 0 so test method is not returning any value and test method is written is j so j will be written j will be initialized by 0 also so here also you can get the print as 0 and 0 so as you can see so i hope you understand the forward reference rule in java this is very important friends and practice it very carefully and watch this tutorial again and again i hope you will get to know about more about forward reference in a better way in this tutorial after watching this tutorial so thanks for watching and have a nice day